Hi, all of you awesome scuba divers out there. Welcome to the Scuba Diver Magazine channel, your very favorite place for the latest scuba diving news and reviews. Today, I'm taking a closer look at the TechLine Tech 2R2 regulator combination to see just how good they are. So this exact set is the T15444 set, uh, which means that it also includes a brass and glass SPG and a short high pressure hose. There are lots of different sets with uh, sort of combinations of the first and second stages with or without gauges. Uh, this exact set includes said SPG, so it's aimed more for side mount cylinders. These are a cold water regulator and very versatile thanks to its swiveling turret and the optional fifth port. The Tech 2 first stage is a balanced diaphragm design, so it delivers a consistent breathe at any depth and the diaphragm design means that it's nice and simple and trustworthy. The environmental seal on the first stage is a soft seal that allows the first stage to balance based on the water pressure around it, but it also prevents salt water and other contaminants from getting to the working parts of the first stage, so you don't have to clean it quite as thoroughly and it just means there's less likely of stuff to build up on the inside. Two high pressure ports in the mid section of the first stage and four angled ports around the swiveling turret. The high pressure ports are fixed but the low pressure ports can rotate on this turret. It won't rotate a full 360 degrees when you have hoses attached because they kind of knock at this point but you do get some flexibility when routing hoses and if you want there's a separate fifth port expansion kit so you can it's sold separately so that you can have an extra fifth port coming out of the top of the first stage. Light and flexible braided hoses. You get a Miflex hose for your high pressure hose and a Techline braided hose on the second stage. Connect everything to your first stage. The second stage itself is pneumatically balanced. The second stage is also consistent and breathes really nice and smooth. It's a bit of a heavy weight. The second stage weighing in at just over 260 grams, but it's built to be tough and you can really feel that in the design. There's no rattling inside that you can sometimes find in some second stage designs. Breathing resistance and venturi lever give you some control in the water and a stainless steel outer ring for strength and resilience but on the inside the metal parts have a teflon coating to help prevent ice from forming inside around the valve. All in with the regulator bag and everything this set weighs around 1.8 kilos so just let's see how it arrives and what comes with it. This is how it arrives uh, in its own little regulator case uh, and it's a nice compact little regulator case. Some regulator bags are just too big. Uh, I do like having a plenty of space in the regulator bag but sometimes especially for this kind of regulator you don't want anything too big. Bright red so it's really obvious to, um, to, to, to spot. Uh, you get a little ID window at the top so you can put this is my regulator or which particular regulator it is. Uh, you get a grab handle at the top, a adjustable removable shoulder strap as well, Techline logo on the front, uh, nothing on the back or the, uh, the sides and a uh, double zippered opening. It's got a decent amount of padding to it as well, so it's going to protect your regulators. And then inside, uh, you get the regulators themselves. Uh, and I'll take a closer look at them in a second. You get in the bubble wrap, this is your, uh, your submersible pressure gauge, fitted to the hose, but it's just a uh, separate item. Uh, it won't take much to, uh, to fit that, just an Allen key and a, um, and a spanner. And the regulator manual. Have a good read through that. In the lid, you get a zippered pouch for your uh, your port plugs or whatever, small little bits and bobs, spare tools, spare bits and bobs, uh, and some Velcro straps so that you can keep your, your regulator neatly organized. Uh, yeah, let's take a close look at the, the regulator itself. So let's take a closer look at the regulator itself, starting with the first stage, because that's where all the action kind of happens. Uh, so the first stage itself, uh, reminiscent of other designs, obviously, uh, comes with a, a little uh, dust cap that unscrews on the, uh, the DIN version and you get a little uh, like tassel so you can attach it if you want. Uh, this is the DIN version. Um, the the A-clamp obviously just has a, an A-clamp fitted. There is a environmental seal 
with the uh, the little TechLine logo on it, which is kind of cool. So this really just prevents contaminants from getting in, but it's still flexible so it can respond to the pressure around you so that the first stage can balance itself. Two high pressure ports, one on either side. I've just fitted the, um, uh, the SPG to this side, uh, but you can fit another one or fit a wireless air transmitter or whatever you want to do the second high pressure port. Down at the bottom uh, or the top, depending on which way you put it, you have these four low pressure ports. And as you can see, they're on this swiveling turret. Uh, now they do claim it's a, a 360 degree, which it kind of is, but as soon as you add a hose onto it, uh, it just bumps up against the DIN ring. So it's, the turret can technically rotate 360 degrees, uh, just not with a hose, but you still get some flexibility and it's nice and easy to move around. So when you're routing your hose, you can make it so that it's really nice and neat straight down your cylinder uh, or over your shoulder, wherever you need it to go. And yeah, you've got two pairs of um, uh, low pressure ports so that you can route them over both shoulders or whatever you need and then yeah this section a, a technician a tech line technician uh, can swap out this section uh, for a, a separate fifth port uh, which is obviously sold separately um, on the uh, the first stage itself it has quite a few cool uh, like laser etchings uh, the first one is it shows the um, I presume MP is the median pressure. Um, I call it the, uh, the interstage pressure of, uh, of nine bar. So that's just something a little bit interesting. Um, that's basically the pressure that's going into your low pressure hoses. Um, you also have 10 years warranty. So as long as you get it serviced with them every year uh, and get it signed off, then it's, uh, it qualifies. There may be some other paperwork and stuff that you need to do, but, uh, but yeah, that's quite nice. Um, that uh, that tech line will support it for uh, for 10 years me flex hose on the high pressure hose um, all these skinny hoses you know it's a high pressure hose uh, but me flex they're very good at making hoses they're nice and flexible and then we come to a pretty traditional brass and glass um, spg nice and strong very reliable and uh, and a decent size so it gives you something to grab hold of and the face itself actually glows in the dark uh, so if you're diving in low light conditions you can either shine a torch on it to give it a bit of charge uh, or if it's soon after you've made like a wreck penetration you'll still get a little bit of that green glow moving down the tech line braided hose because i don't think these are uh, on me flex um but it's just as flexible and still nice and light we get to the tech two second stage so as soon as the gas comes in the nut on the braided hose has a nice little gap in it and what you can do with this is get a, um, a skinny zip tie or a cable tie, and you can actually fit a, um, a bolt snap onto that. Uh, that's what the Apex version, um, there's a, uh, well, that's why there's a gap on the Apex hose, but I imagine it's something, a, a similar intent on, on this hose. You also get a heat exchange right around the valve. So these heat sink fins are gonna help to prevent that valve from freezing up in colder waters. The second stage itself feels really strong and uh, and tough. The uh, The design is, uh, is very reliable. Uh, you've got this stainless steel ring around the uh, the bezel itself. So any knocks and scrapes, it's just gonna brush those off. Purge button on the front is this soft uh, plasticky material. And on the side, you have a metal uh, kind of crenellated breathing adjustment knob. So you can dial a breath, unscrew it to make it a little bit lighter, screw it all the way in to make it a bit stiffer, less likely to free flow. Uh, in storage mode, you just uh, unscrew it all the way and then you have this venturi switch and that helps to interrupt free flows uh, but when you're in the water it improves airflow into your mouth um, so the negative would be to uh, prevent the free flow but then when you actually jump into the water you're under the water and you're diving flick it to plus and it's just going to improve the airflow reduce the work of breathing Mouthpiece itself is uh, is reminiscent of a uh, an Apex Aqualung Comfortbite mouthpiece. Uh, it's got this little bridge over the top that just helps it. 
It kind of means that you don't have to bite down quite as much on it. It kind of sits behind your teeth and just holds it in your mouth without you having to actually chew down on it, um, which for a heavier second stage like this is really useful uh, because you'll get jaw fatigue if you have to uh, kind of bite down on it to hold it in place. But with this little bridge, it's, uh, it does a lot of that work for you. And it's not particularly long neither, so it doesn't go all the way back to your molars. Um, and because uh, some divers don't like that in their mouth for a, a, a very long time. Um, all in, yeah, it's a smart, simple regulator. It feels really tough, well put together. The, the only um, sort of thing that I don't like is there's a little line across the top of the second stage, uh, which isn't the smoothest, but I really am just nitpicking when I uh, when I get to that. Otherwise, looking at the build quality, it is really nice. And the breathing as well, nice smooth breathe. Some regulators you can get a kind of raspy breathe, but no, this is really nice and smooth. And yeah, everything's balanced, so you don't have to worry about going down deeper or, or diving in cold waters thanks to that Teflon coating. Uh, yeah, I can't really fault them. So who's the R2 Tech 2 regulator for? It's really made for a range of divers, but as the tech name suggests in the second stage, it's more aimed at the advanced diver who wants a tough regulator to keep up with them in colder waters. In this exact setup, the 444 as I have dubbed it, um, with that really short high pressure hose, it's only really for side mount, but just swap that high pressure hose and you could very easily use it for single or twin cylinders. Uh, but for twins, I'd probably fit that fifth port turret um, just to give you that added hose routing option. It is a really nice regulator to, uh, to breathe from, nice smooth breathe. It's a little heavy in the mouth because you've got that stainless steel. Um, when you compare it to other second stages, especially those that are made for lighter travel, it can feel a bit heavy in the mouth, but it feels like you could hammer a nail in with it. It's that tough. So if you want a really strong, reliable second stage that can just keep up with you, uh, then yeah, this is definitely it. The whole set has an RRP of around 415 euros, which is about 360 pounds, depending on the exchange rate, which is really competitive. Um, considering that includes the SPG, um, and also considering that Techline give you a two year warranty that you can actually extend to 10 years if you get it serviced every year by a qualified Techline technician. And you can keep track of all of that in the user manual, which is pretty cool. Uh, for more information, you can head over to their website, techlinediving.eu and find a local Techline dealer and check out the rest of their Techline range of equipment. And you can always check out our website, scubadivermag.com for the latest scuba diving news and reviews and subscribe to the channel here on YouTube if you're new to the channel. Thank you for watching everybody and of course, safe diving.